What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. No, Napoleon Total War campaign as Great Britain. And to run off happened last time, I did a pretty shoddy job of fighting off the Dutch. So much so that this army is in retreat uh, to reinforce back in London. And that's pretty much which what happened in general last time. So what I'm going to do is just try to be a bit better at fighting battles. And my next target is going to be Denmark to try and knock them out and create a solid base from which to pull down south. And it probably will mean I'll be against uh, Norway as well. Oop, sorry, a box is falling over in my peripheral vision. <laughs> so I might send a force to capture uh, Norway as well. Because I'll be at war with them, so why not? And I've also got to make sure I'm still... Yeah, you've, been, you've still been destroyed. You're being raided. So I might send a... Now this fleet is replenishing. But yeah, these guys, uh, these guys I might want to relocate to uh, Glasgow. Um, these I want to keep this fleet. I want to slowly build up this fleet to be here to protect my uh, protect my docks. And this guy here, I might send him into Corona just to uh, interrupt their production of ships. Not sure if any were being produced, but I may as well do it. Uh, this trade zone is re ripe to be gained, but I'd like to expand my navy, or at least have a second navy, a second good navy. Um, so these guys are going to be here to so actually, might they're going to bottle up this fleet in Rotterdam, um, so they don't get any ideas of intercepting my uh, transport fleet. So my tech doing good. Next level industrial tech. Good. Okay. So it seems clear to me that what I want to do is capture somewhere I can use as a base of operations um, because the reinforcement just fundamentally doesn't happen the same way as it does in um, Empire so I can't just use I can't just reinforce wherever I want this, this is the moment I should have done research before I start my campaign um, but I didn't, I just dive straight in because I prefer to learn um, by, by playing the game Usually much to my detriment, but you know, I think it's quite fun. So I need so I'd like to secure Copenhagen, Norway, and I'm prob as much as I was decrying it at the start, I'm probably gonna secure um a territory on the French coast. Just so I can start, you know, from somewhere. Oh, good old Russia. Getting stuck in. Um yes, so the all this talk of me going, Oh, I don't know if I want to do that, I don't think I want to do that. Well I might actually want to do that. Just to start somewhere from a good uh, from a good base to expand from. Division of labour. Building farms here will help the population uh, grow over time there you go. So I'm on to poverty control laws, but I probably want to do. I think I might want to do. Public schooling, I think. A national census reduces administration costs plus two percent bonus to global tax. That's pretty good. But yeah, let's shift this guy, Michael Stoll, out of the London docks. Let's get this fleet back into back into port. I probably have to disembark in order to replenish. Yep, they are all replenishing. So one thing I have learned, well, I have read actually, um, when it comes to uh, if you've got very experienced troops, in some scenarios you might want to actually put them in locations that replenish slower, so the influx of new men is slower, so it doesn't water down the experience as fast, and it means that uh, you end up maintaining your experience with a fully uh, fully recruited unit. Obviously, the cost is they're not back in the action as fast, but you know, so we get uh, six of one, half dozen of the other. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to want to build that. I'm going to HMS Hibernia, HMS Victory. Have I, got a vi have I got a victory? Well, I can't have, otherwise it would have been um, not, it would have been blacked out. So let's get HMS Victory. 
And let's get a uh, nothing at the minute. I want to expend some more of my economy. Musket manufactory. Market. Yeah, let's get that market going. More economic upgrades. Cool. Before you guys go back and retreat, you are probably going to go down here and snaffle up this uh, frigate from the French. Because probably where most of these ships have come from. It's a corvette. So I should have. I really, I should have. Even though it's annoying, I should have fought these smaller battles. So I don't lose so many ships as easily. Let's get him back to port. He's not got a look at there. So Nelson's fleet sail here. Yeah, but no, they've not. They've not got anything recruiting there. No, not anything. Not got anything recruiting there. But I'm still gonna. Sail up and interfere. Um, let's put these guys into here because may as well put them somewhere. It's caused cause some cause some problems for the French. It's nice of them to build a magistrate for me. Um, but yeah, I want this army to replenish, and then I'm going to drop them off off of uh, Copenhagen and probably get a fight going and hopefully win. Um, so my research and tech is good. Uh, I can't recruit an Indiaman. Keep expanding my trade zones. Okay, then turn. So I am conscious that I'm burning through the turns um, much faster than I need to be in order to actually be successful. So I need to start recruiting more men and expanding my empire. And Copenhagen would be a useful asset to have, and one that. Well, actually, I might check the diplomacy tab to make sure that I'm not declaring on an ally to you know to everyone. Oh, good, they've battled up the Batavians, or I might end up landing landing my army down in Toulouse. So that way, well, no, they're a bit out of out of the way there then. Constitutional monarchy. Okay, let's get them back in so they can replenish. Yeah, lots of upgrades. So I'll get a barracks because I'm going to start getting onto a war footing. Get an ordnance factory, probably. That's a little cheap expansion. Start to get some more of these administration buildings in my other regions. I may as well do that if I'm going to start expanding. And then let's get Sir John Moore. Oh, I can't recruit anything useful, but yes, this is why I need to start building up. Oh, I, need to, I do also need to build an ordnance factory. Ordnance factory gets me horse artillery, which, in terms of movement, if artillery is a bit better in terms of skill, but, art but horse artillery will be more agile. Can they both hide? Yeah, they'll be more agile. Okay. Just make sure I'm maximising my trade income, which I am. And friendly with the Swiss, which is fair enough. Okay, major nations, minor nations, Denmark. Allied with Me Mecklenburg Strelitz, which I'm trading with, aren't I? I am. I'm very friendly with them. So it provides a natural expansion point down into here. If I take Copenhagen, I can start to push into this area and take over Hanover. Hanover. Um, so it seems like that might be an interesting idea to do. Okay, so these guys can't recruit anything because my navy's in here being beasts.
Uh, let's take this navy, this 32 gun frigate, send them into Antwerp. Uh, okay, let's hit end turn. So I might start building up my other army to land in France. Because I need to start the ball rolling. Ready to squash Austria eventually. <laughs> but yeah, things seem to be going okay. But then again, it is it is a great Brit Britain start. If I was playing as France or as Austria, I would probably be in a very dodgy position because I wouldn't really know what I was doing. But if I declare on Copenhagen, they'll have to choose whether or not to back me. Uh, Mecklenburg will have to choose whether or not to back me or not. And it being the AI, I would assume they wouldn't, because that's what the AI does. Um, but apart from that, I think things should be okay. Underdeveloped farmland. Great. Plus 400 to region wealth. I'll take that. Shame it'll take eight turns to see the value of it, though. Okay, before I go too crazy. Army on the go. It's about now I could probably do with that gunsmith being done. Increase my recruitment capacity. Well, actually, if I do. Ah, oh, my plan. Oh, I didn't build. I didn't build a. Uh... I suppose there's no point building this. I can't build artillery here, so I may as well just build a gunsmith just to rec reduce the cost of infantry. Hmm. Punishment of the artillery is very slow, but if everything else is ready to go except for the artillery, then I will move them out to Copenhagen. Don't want to sit down, sit around doing nothing for too long because I do want to get a good battle this turn. And then let's hit. Yeah, I need to agree with my college as well to maintain um, my to maintain some sort of edge in. Research. So I will want to send uh, Nelson's Navy to Copenhagen to escort my transport fleet because the last thing I want is them getting caught out um, in the open. No one seems to be doing anything except for the French. Well, there's a couple of there's a bloody Austrian navy naval unit. The Russians are pushing out nicely, actually, because <laughs> I mean they could sit back and not really do anything. They are producing ships to contribute to the the war effort. Yeah, if I declare on Copenhagen, it should. But well, with a clone in Denmark, it should go okay. Camera bookmarks, not interested. There you go, they're on the go. There you go. I think they will, are they starting to pick up? And they can't, they're starting to pick up troops from up here, maybe? Or is that literally just all of them? Okay. Build Norden's factory. So I need to expand my military might. Okay, one more turn, I think, and then I'm going to go. So hit and turn. If anything, I might rotate some of my weak units out of that army and ship them back to um, Wellesley's army. Just to make sure we're ready to go. Yeah, I've definitely got to say, my confidence in this is nowhere near as good as my confidence in Empire. In Empire, I'm pretty pretty solid when I push up two armies together. I'm pretty, well, I say pretty solid. I mean, pretty solid in my estimates of what can happen. Um, but in this game, no idea. 
No idea. Um, but that's what makes it fun. It's fun to do different things. I've played Great Britain and Empire loads of times, and that's just a... It's a bit of an easy campaign, really. It's easier than this, because things happen faster, like the turn, like, you know, the construction of things per turn happens faster. So that might be, if anything, if that, anything, that might be my one criticism of Napoleon so far. Well, I get that it's because it's the Napoleonic War, it was just so much of a con uh, condensed event. That's my King's German Legion being done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take, oh, it's an experience unit of cavalry. Well, it's, it's pretty much done. Okay, so let's take them back here. Let's just take Nelson's fleet and put them out here. Embark the army. So they may deploy here. War. Don't call my allies because I don't want to lose. Most of these guys will not support war. Um, Mecklenburg will probably. Didn't join them. Good. My army is deployed. Nelson's going to bottle up their fleet. These guys are going to haul ass back to London. Equestrian estate. Yeah, recruiters recruitment cost. Cavalry and gives me money. Metal roads. London is my money maker, so you crack on. And also, what I've been pretty lax on doing is building merchants just to keep filling up these trade zones. I'm pretty sure I'll want a barrack. Yeah, there you go to recruit Highland Foot and British Dutch infantry. can't recruit anything but then this army will soon be uh, ready to land uh, here or maybe maybe Bordeaux maybe Pamplona bring war bring war to the Spanish actually land at Pamplona start to threaten Madrid or sail them all around secure Gibraltar my historical territory and if I sell Gibraltar and I can get a second fleet on the go then I can secure these trade regions have the Atlantic coast secure and then push east. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, this army under Wellesley, he's just been plonked down, and he is going to move up to Copenhagen. Well, the trouble is, hmm, the best move might be to re-embark them. Now I've got the navy bottled up in inside the uh, the Denmark Strait. Well, that's not the Denmark Strait. Is it the Denmark Strait? Could well be. Um, as I've got that navy bottled up, I may as well uh, re-embark them and deploy them next to the city. Even better, if they try and sally out and send an army to stop me on the western shore, then I can embark on the ships, swing around, and then hit Copenhagen properly. And I am glad that Mecklenburg did not join them. As much as it would have provided an interesting um, point for me to expand into the continent, I'm glad I've still got their trade. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Surprise, surprise Dutch Navy. So, retreat. They're probably going to chase them down. Yeah, that's fair enough. I am going to water resolve this because I don't want to fight it. Ugh. Defeat. You still got a frigate. Oh, no, we don't. There it goes. Blah, 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 blah. Because it, oh, they'd already retreated, they had no movement points. But yeah. I just need more stronger fleets. So I've got a reasonably si reasonable sized fleet to protect my... That's National Census. Oh, wow. They have churned out troops to try to stop me. And I suspect probably what's happened is they've they've moved their army out, and then that's the garrison. That's probably what's happened. Okay. A 
we may need to come pick these guys up in, as an emergency uh, support. So let's take... Oh, will I have the movement points? That's the question, to bring them back here. If I don't have the movement points to do it in one turn, then I will probably... No, I don't. So at least I'll be able to recruit... Well... There you go, five more units of line. They'll be recruited next turn. The next turn I'm going to drop them off, so if anything I might want to fall Wellesley back. But the interesting thing will be, will be to see what the what the Dutch do now. So what's making the most amount of money? Oh, cotton, sugar and tobacco, isn't it? Cotton, sugar, tobacco is making the most now. Merchantmen. Let's finally expand my college. And then London's going to be unhappy about it, but they still generally quite like me. Lots of government repression. Oh, and there's the victory. So let's definitely just do this. HMS victory. Even though I'll say it twice. Boom. And we have the victory. Excellent. And then let's recruit a 64 gun third rate just to keep my production lines going and to maybe use as the add them on to uh, this chap's fleet down here, uh, William Cornwallis, to start. So he gets a reasonable sized fleet that can interfere around here. Nelson is currently going to be interfering around the, Bolt, around the Denmark Strait. Yeah, things could go okay. Uh, but let's find out how the... Uh, the Danes happen. Ideally, I will fight one of them on the... Ah, oh, the French have got a production. Ah, oh, they lost. Ideally, I would... They would send an army out to stop me. Um, then we'd fight. I wouldn't replenish, but I'd push them back. And then I'd lay siege to them. And while that was happening, I'd be fun. I'd be ferrying in fresh troops from uh, London. That's going to be my plan. But we have to see if they do the honourable thing and engage in action. It was quite impressive how they decided to uh, just oh go and go blockade that French port. Shame. But yeah, it's quite impressive how they could generate. Oh, there you go. So they're massing their naval forces. They've come out to meet me. Lots of line infantry, lots of artillery. Right, let's do this. I need to do. I need to try win this. Not as badly as I did uh, the last one, which I think. Best way to avoid being flanked is to stop the enemy flanking force from arriving. Hmm. The best way to avoid being flanked is to stop them from flanking you. Good job. There's the city. So I'm going to want to stay out here. Placing cavalry units on your flanks gives you flexibility. So let's take. Deploy my center. Shuffle you forward a bit. Just take you in the Highland foot to guard the right flank and get ready to fold in because I'm pretty sure they're not going to be wide enough. Right foot, you're going to be. Actually, I'm going to deploy you on this right flank. If I'm intending the right flank to be the one where I uh, fold in my flanks, then let's deploy my cavalry out on the edge. Let's pick this cavalry out on the right. Put them way out. Oh, I forgot. Deploy my general. Farms and outbuildings 
provide good cover on the back. There you go, and the artillery have opened fire. And the other batteries should get in range. Oh no, they're well out. So these guys are going to be my main... Ah, oh, for a minute I was looking at these guys and going, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, these don't make sense. So let's get these guns. Limber them up. Let's redeploy. And let's start doing this. Because I want to threaten their flank. To be honest, I think I'm probably actually deploying too far, much too conservatively, so I'm probably going to want to do that. Run everyone into position because their cavalry is moving up. Move up my cavalry to threaten their flank. So their artillery is returning fire. Destroy one of their gun teams. Do you run unlike the ones in Empire? No, you do not. We send my cavalry around the edge, they might be in a position to threaten their artillery. So let's do, do this. Then I limber, I can heal, hear the, hear the guns firing, so they're hitting my flank. We have taken a building, limber. sir! Good, just to secure this flank. Where did my... Oh, okay, they never made it in time. Okay, cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Make sure they don't get shot at. So it's going to be a big old battle back here because they've got a couple of units of cavalry and their general. Okay, you guys are opening up. Probably not as much of a priority as the units in the centre. Oh, they can't get everyone in. doing battle. Okay, now, now it's time to make my cavalry jaws move in. Two units of hussars. Well, they're gonna, if they, well, if they're going for my single weak unit, then that's good for me. Let's reallocate my artillery fire. So these guys are going to The target is their guns. I'm not so bothered about the cavalry. So 
Let's do a fly around shot. So this is my focus for now. So the main battle has not yet been joined. Although it has over here, so... Fall them back so they can get support of the artillery. Okay, the Jaegers are out, so be careful of them. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Run them into threat in the Jaeger. I know they're wavering. This is gonna. This is a bit of a gamble, but. Artillery around here is not exactly in a key position. You're still firing onto. Well, you're not anymore. to bring some cover over here. Position my cavalry ready to hit reinforcing troops. Go after them. Starting to. May as well chase down the Jaegers. And then let's get these guns, hold fire. Obviously, my cavalry going in. Oh, don't hit my own gun, don't hit my own cavalry. Oh, hold. They're chasing them down. Is that their general? The general is routing. But make sure everyone is committed. So the unit you're chasing off is apparently here. Just one Jaeger unit left. Continue because I want as few of these units as possible to get, make it back to Copenhagen. Halt.
These guys are finished, so you come in and chase down that unit of foot line infantry. You've just got two more to chase down there. Probably cavalry chasing down, but realistically, that's not going to happen. So you go for the lead group. This guy wants to bring the gun with him. You see, these guys are going for the lead unit. Pull my infantry back so they don't get killed. There we go. Now where's the duke? Chased on that single lone infantryman. There we go. No one ready for this guy to chase down. The general's going to make it, and the rest of these units have all got people equipped. Or people, you know, chasing after them. So. Ah, and the pathfinding isn't so stupid, so. The AI is actually doing a good job at going chop, 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 chop. There's just two left. So there's one there, I don't know where the other guy is. There he is. Get him! Oh, right when I said Napoleon pathfinding is not so bad. <laughs> he just fell over. Famous, the famous scatter technique does seem to be working still. So let's bring him over here. Then attack. So that should knock them out. And then you're just two guys over here. Chop, chop. Good. Whew. Did a bit better that time. <laughs> a bit less gun shy, I suppose. There we go, that's more like it. Lost 700 men, they lost their entire army. Chop. Oh, and they've come out to uh, meet me again. With a much larger force this time, and my force is a bit depleted, so... This could be a bit more problematic. Uh, might be end up playing... Or do I just retreat? I think I retreat, wait for Sir John Moore to get here, and then we meet them. Nope, they are forcing us to do battle, so... Looking at my timer, I think that'll happen during the next part. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.